Good morning. No, it's not. It's good afternoon. <laughs> oh my goodness, my car is filthy. My car is absolutely filthy. I need my little valet, which is Poppy, to come and do it. Poppy, you listening? Can you come and clean my car out? Because <laughs> it's a mess. Right, Saturday. Mark is working most of most of today. My phone's just buzzing. And Holly's out with Louie and Poppy's just got back from Cornwall with her girlfriend. So, uh, not here, but to her girlfriends. So, um, I am on my own. <laughs> and I thought I could either do a seated yoga this morning or I could try and go for a little walk in the woodlands. And I fancied the latter. Now I'm going to go to Lexton Woods where we used to take Evie so I'm going to take you with me because it could get a bit you know emotional and I don't want it to be I want it to be happy memories I've got her with me here on in my ring so she is coming in a way I actually had a dream about her last night it was awful I dreamt she came back to me but like her head was fine but her body was black it was all decaying and oh anyway <laughs> nice nice dream um so let's go to the woods let's go and have a little look around i want to try and find a twig because there's a craft i want to do for christmas and then this afternoon i might watch some more i'm watching um 28 days haunted on netflix it's an experiment where they put parapsychologists and mediums in haunted places for 28 days and it's supposed to break the veil between the world I really want to do some craft but I don't know if I've got anything to do apart from you know, I don't think I've got any more Halloweeny craft to do oh I sorted out my lollipop problem as well with the box so I'll show you that when I get back but thank you Claire for the idea of the colander if I hadn't have done the box I would have 100% done that because that's a brilliant idea <laughs> So if any of you want to display some lollipops, Claire had the idea of turning a colander over and using the holes in that. Brilliant idea. Well, I didn't think of that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> too late now. I'll show you what I did later. Let's go to the woods. Right, we're here. Oh, it's so lovely here. It's so peaceful. But it's just, I was just thinking back when we had Eve and um, we'd come here and it would take us so long to get round because <laughs> she'd sniff everything so long so mind you I can't say I'm the <laughs> I'm the quickest <laughs> I'll probably need plenty of stops but let me show you what I'm looking at look at that it's so lovely it's so lovely all the woods. Look at all the acorns on the floor. Look at them. I wonder why the squirrels haven't collected them yet. So many. Sometimes you see some rats in the bushes as well. Ratters. They don't bother me, as you know, because we've got rats. <laughs> Obviously these ones aren't tame. All the blackberries are dried up now, look. They're all dried up. We never collected that many. I only ever made one crumble this year. Usually I get to make two at least. I'll uh, speak to you again in the woods. Oh, these steps are a killer. Oh. Right, I've found a, um, good job I bought my bag, a conquering its shell for Holly, because she loves those. She loves getting the shells out. She finds it really satisfying. So, Oh, they've changed it they've made little step step ups <sighs> right now I need to look out for a nice stick for my craft that I'm gonna do for Christmas <sighs> that's a bit big <laughs> imagine me dragging that back back to the car like a dog yeah all these step things are new they must have put those in. God, I'm so unfit. Oh, 
Oh, what about this one? What about not this one? <laughs> it's quite wet, but it's quite a good one. We'll hold on to it in the bag for now in case we don't see another one. Um, you will see the craft, obviously. Look at that. Imagine being able to run up to that bank. I don't think I could do that before I was ill. <laughs> I've always been a bit unfit. Any squiggles? Squirrels, that is, for people that don't talk my language. Oh, I think the squiggles in that tree just dropped its nut. Painful. It's nice we're here together, isn't it? I'm not on my own, I'm with you. I thought this was a good idea at the time. There was a question actually in my blue badge um, thing saying, do you get out of breath? And I was like, no, but I actually do. But that's just because I'm unfit. It's not because I've got some illness with my lungs. It's just that I'm unfit. I've always been unfit. I've always struggled with my breathing. That's why I could never be a runner. Well, there's a nice hole in this tree up here. I bet there's a squirrel family living in that. I still haven't started my stories yet, by the way, about squirrels and fairies. As far as I got was writing some names down in a book. That was it, in a notepad. I'm a bit, I've got writer's block really. There it is, look. Do you reckon a squirrel family lives in there? Look how massive this is. It's a big old mushroom up there, hang on. Will it focus on the light? There, huge mushroom. Anyway, I'm not gonna bore you anymore. Or um, let you listen to my <laughs> everything. <laughs> I'm just going to finish my walk back to the car and go back and watch scary things. Oh, before we do, um, before I go, I'm still looking out for sticks. What's written on that tree? Do I want to know? Samuel, Sophie, Jen, Kev. Isaac. Mm. Must have been a family that carved their names in a tree, that's quite sweet. Um, I don't know if you remember, but this empty tree trunk here was where I took a photo of Evie and she looked, if I can find it, I know it's in a frame at home, I'll show it to you. She was in there and she looked so happy. But isn't that amazing? Look at that. I'd have loved to play in there as a kid. Right, I'm at the lake part and I just thought I'd show you how beautiful it is. It's so lovely. But the ducks are making me laugh because when they're quacking, it sounds like they're laughing. I want them to do it now to show you. But it's really funny. Look at that lot going out in a line. Look. Maybe they're doing the conga. Do, do, do. Come on and do the conga. Do, do, do. Trade across the floor. It's beautiful. Oh, bit backlit. <laughs> I'm home now, by the way. I'm so hungry. What time is it? 25 to 2. I'm going to get a nice sandwich, I think. I just wanted to show you quickly what I got from the woodwalk and also I nipped into hobby craft because I really fancied doing something crafty like I said this afternoon um, and I've been enjoying, let me show you, let me show you, this little tea light holder that I've had for so many years for Halloween, look how cute is it, that paint's sort of coming off there because it's so old but I just put one of my eight hour tea lights in and light it every night and I thought, oh, I'm gonna miss that when 
it's like not Halloween anymore. So, <laughs> so I found this, this beauty in hobby craft, and this was four pounds, and you just put the tea light in the back. So I'm gonna paint this up um, this afternoon. But on the way home, I was thinking, what color am I gonna do like a red house and a green house for Christmas? That might be quite nice. With like some brown window frames, I don't know. Different colored roof. You will see when I've, when I've done it. And then I also found these most beautiful miniature pumpkins. So there's a green one here, that was a pound that diddy one and then this one was three pounds so yeah I had to get them and I'm going to put them on my table centerpiece so what I got from my woodland walk I got this leaf look how big this is compared to my hand so that's going to go on the doorstep um, and then I found another stick as well as the one I showed you this longer one so I'm going to dry them both out because they're very wet and um, and that's the one we found together Obviously, you can see the size difference, so I thought, well, I could do, use both of them, that's fine. Um, and then I, ouch, that was Holly's Conker. I found this acorn that was perfect. I didn't want to take too many acorns, because I know the squirrels love them, but there were thousands, I'm telling you. So, but I wanted one with the little shell on, so that's going to go on the porch as well. And then this prickly little guy. How? How am I supposed to, how did I pick that up? Ouch. I don't know how I picked it up. Uh, right. Let's put this in Holly's room. And then when she comes home, she'll get a nice surprise that she can take that out. There's like three pieces in there by the looks of it. So yeah, there you go, Hulse. Have a present. And she's got one in um, jelly cat form up here, look. Because <laughs> I bought her that because I know she loves... Loves taking the conquer out of the shell so much. This is her latest one. I think Mark's mum and dad bought that for her. And then um, this one, and she's got this one. And oh, she loves a jelly. So this is what I've done with the ghosty lollipops. I covered a box, it was an Amazon box, in Harry Potter paper. And then I literally made holes with a screwdriver and hammer. <laughs> and poked them all in. So... They're all ready for the trick-or-treaters. Okay, I've gone traditional. So I've gone red and green, red and green. Um, it's actually so therapeutic. If I could paint all day, every day I would. I'm still not sure what color to go for on the house, but on the window frames, I've got these 3D um, paints and this one's gold. So I thought I might do gold window frames, but do I paint the back? Or do I leave it white? Because what would I paint it? Because I'm doing one red, one green house. And there's no divide in the middle. Unless I make one. Do I continue the painting? I don't know. I don't know. But it's very therapeutic. I recommend it entirely. Hello, happy Sunday fun day. We are off to Paycock's house. That's me and mum. Mum's here. <laughs> Hello. Put my shoes on. Hello. <laughs> um, it's very dark, dreary, horrible rain. <laughs> Mark and Dad have gone off to play golf, um, so we're going to Paycock's house for a look round. I don't know if I can film. I'll have to ask. Okay. Stick. Oh. And then we're going to go to the garden centre for lunch. It's not going to rain. <laughs> it is raining. <laughs> no, it's not raining. Right, I've got everything. Let's go. Right, we've been round Paycocks. It was very nice, but um, wasn't allowed to film in there at all because it's National Trust. So um, we had nice tea and cake. We had a tour guide on our own, didn't we? There was no one yeah, else on our no, tour. Just us, yeah. And um, lovely. Yeah, it was, it was really nice. Very interesting. We learnt a lot, didn't we? Yeah. About Thomas Paycock and his wool yeah. trade and yeah. everything else. Everyone else that lived there since. Yeah. Um, so it was lovely, but I have got the email of the person that's in charge, so I might be able to film there, like arrange to film for you guys, so that, you know, you can see a bit more. But we're just going to head into um, the garden centre now, 
hands oh, we've got an hour, at so. Poplar and um, look around the Christmas stuff. I've got to get some tea cakes from the food shop as well for oh, tea. Right. Are they gluten free? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but they're the best tea cakes. Right. So we're going to go and have a look at the Christmas stuff and then go and have lunch. Good. That's it. Yeah. So Mark and Dad are playing golf in this. Mum's playing with the owls. They're nice. Five ninety nine. That's a bargain. Um, yeah. It's it's really loud, pouring the rain. So we're feeling sorry for them. <laughs> they are going to be soaked. They should have re rescheduled it, shouldn't they? Yeah. Really, but. Anyway, we're just looking at the solar lights, if you can hear me. <laughs> if you can hear me. <laughs> They'd be quite nice on a driveway, wouldn't they? Oh yeah, with stars. Going around the pergola. Yeah, they are very pretty. Yeah, I like them. 50 or 100. They are solar. Yeah. Sometimes I wouldn't see them where our pergola is, would I? Where's your pergola? Around, around the, the corner. The no. You probably wouldn't. They are nice. There's a Westie. Oh, yeah. Evie dog. That one holiday <coughs> is just brilliant still. Oh, what still the. Lights, yeah, like the. The flame, the flickering flame. Oh, fairy houses, fairy houses. I've got the pumpkin. So the doors, the doors open as well. Look at the bluebell one. There isn't a door, it's broken up. No, well, I've got a pumpkin one, but. <laughs> Oh, let's put that a minute. Oh, yeah, that opens. Oh, that's Door cool. opens. Bluebell. Mm. Oh, I love that one. Where's that one? Is it out? Oh, look at Elfridge's. Oh, but the door doesn't open. Look at Elfridge's. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Where's Elfridge's? Here. Twenty-two ninety-nine. That's not bad, that is, is it? That's not bad for what it is. It's and it all lights up. That's not bad at all. Isn't it? See, I do like that, even though yeah. the door doesn't open. But where's the castle? That one, oh, that's the castle. Does that's the door open on the castle? No, it doesn't. No, no I won't. It's just a blue, the bluebell one and the pumpkin. Fairies only. I don't know if the door opens on that one. I like the Elfridges. I love Elfridges. Yeah, I love it. I love that. Let's put it on the Christmas list. Yeah. Oh, Holly, if you're watching, you get discount. <laughs> I love him with the top hat on. Fourteen ninety nine. It's quite expensive, especially as it doesn't light up. Yeah, I've got these, these ones. Yeah, I've, I've had one of those, but the wings broke. Like the bells. Right, here we go. Let's have a look. Oh, little owl. Oh, that's cute. Oh, so cute. Four ninety nine. Yeah. Oh, we saw these. Pam loved these when we went to Perry Woods. <laughs> the old uh, reindeers. <laughs> They're happy enough. Yeah. No, I'll uh, look at them in a bit. That green is beautiful. Look, that would go with your, mm. your lounge. <laughs> Don't have the tree in the No. I love these. They, they're door stops, I think. Oh. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. <gasps> Look at this one. Oh, wow. That's lovely. $4.99. It's massive. Massive. <laughs> Oh, Mum's found a gong. Impressive gong. Oh, what's happening with his legs? <laughs> He's doing the splits. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Another gong through there. I remember. Big Al. Yeah. About that. 
star, I remember it now. You said star. it broke. Yes, my yeah. wooden star. Yeah, if they're here, I'll show you. Oh, there's the penguins that... Penguins are dancing. Oh, wolves. They're new, aren't they? I, I don't remember so, seeing yeah. them before. And they've got all the, the hanging snowflakes. That they're nice, aren't they? I absolutely love her. I love her big the glasses in here. Oh, she's heavy. 40 pounds. She's staying there and just looking fabulous, okay? <laughs> I'm coming around this way, Ma. Oh, hello. I like this one for my tree. I think I'm gonna get that one. Stick. Screw up a stick. Now that is what everybody needs, a sparkly squirrel up a stick. He is 15 pounds, you need him in your life. Yeah. Take him home. <laughs> oh, look at these penguins, aren't they lovely? 60 pounds. We see the price, we put it back. <laughs> we don't like nutcrackers, neither does Pam, no. We don't do nutcrackers, I'm afraid. We find them very weird, but there is a touchy thing here. That I'm going to try. Snow globe. Look at that. But it's a nutcracker, so I don't want it. <laughs> Hello. Got a snowman above her head. <laughs> oh yeah, little lanterns. Oh, I like the snowmen up there as well. Yeah. Fifteen pounds. There are five. Oh, that's Oh, did you get a four for 15 pounds? Or did you get four, one? Four assorted, 14 Do you, you get all get four? four? Because they must be joined. Oh, no, you yeah. get one. I was going to say, oh. if you get four, then that's a bargain, but... Is that the four of the person? Snowman. No, that's a penguin. Oh, it's They're snowmen. <laughs> It's a funny penguin. I see the beak. If I got four, I'd have got them, but yeah. I'm not paying 14 99 for one. No. Call me cheap. 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 Cheap, cheap. <laughs> there's a budgie in there. Ball on a, on a rope. Yeah, yeah that's it. Uh, oh, you can have one of those. Well, there you go then. We can get one, Mum. <laughs> We could choose one. And you get discount in here. Yeah. My idea is that mum gets one each year, you see, and builds it up. But dad weren't too impressed, was he? I like the 29 at the back of the Oh, with the little train. train. That's nice, isn't it? That's really cute. I like that. I've always liked the light up presents. The view. Yeah. Yes. I really like them. That would be nice around my fireplace. You know, just to the side yes, of the fireplace, would wouldn't it? How much are they? Oh, there's a price here. Thirty pounds for a set of three. Where's the third? Oh, there. There's a tiny one here. Look. So you can stack them. Yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? I think that would look nice. Yeah. I'll get that another time. Yeah. Hopefully they'll still be here. Well, hopefully they'll have enough. <laughs> I like the little car yeah. with Santa in it. I've got two water spinners. I've got them where uh, they're trees, aren't they? Look. Oh, yeah. The snow globe with the... Oh, it's over there, look. How much is it? 22 99 that's not bad, is it? Oh, I'm quite impressed, really, aren't yeah. The prices are quite good, aren't they? Aren't too bad. Oh, you light up. We can't get anything else to light up outside because we've got so much. We've only got uh, enough plugs for... Yeah, that's what we have on the front of our windows. Take a poxy nightmare to put up, but... Once they're done, they're done for the, the whole time. <laughs> I do like these though. Have you seen these candy canes yeah, in everywhere. people's driveways? They put them all down, don't they, in the garden? Yeah, I really like those. There's the stars in there as well. 
Yes, that's where they were last year actually, which was where we saw them. They do look really nice in your wind. Absolutely love that. Beautiful. different because it starts from the top and they all fall down. Oh, the lights, yeah. yeah. See, I would buy a, light, a tree now that's not pre-lit. No. Because I just hate doing the lights. <laughs> it's such a pain. I love this mum. $42.99. That is lovely. And the gong photo opportunity there with a big chair. Oh, well, we'll do that in a minute. I want some Christmas throws because I've only got my grey throw. Yeah. And we need to get you a throw basket, don't we, for your lounge, like I said yeah. to you. We need to go home since yeah. at some point and, mm. and do that. And then you can snuggle into a blanket. Humongous. One big Rizzo, the rat. There we go, look at that. What a roast. We've both gone for chicken. I've got a spritzer. Mum's got a bear made. Who used to say bear made? Oh, I remember, it's a poppy, yeah. Oh. Bear made. Oh. And prips, wasn't it, for crisps? Yeah. Prips. Right, let's get eating. Manic Monday! <laughs> That's what I think. So, hope you enjoyed our little day out yesterday. I certainly did. Um, my thumb's not good today. It's still in this bit here. Oh, that hurts so much when I touch it. I don't think it's fibro. I think it's arthritic. Um, but that, that's really sore in there so if it carries on I will have to go and get it checked out because it's on both thumbs but it's not all the time so you know until it gets to a point where I'm constantly in gloves and supports then I will get it checked um, I just thought I'd show you this that I bought yesterday you know everywhere I go I buy a fridge magnet so I had to get the Paycocks House and Gardens one. Isn't it beautiful? So that's obviously taken in the summer. And this was three pounds, but this will go on my fridge freezer in the garage, as I've shown you all my magnets on there before. So I was pleased with that. Um, this morning, is it still this morning? Yeah, it's just gone 25 past 11. I've done a workout this morning to this, um, you know that site I was on for the seated yoga, um, they had a lower body workout for 20 minutes and I adapted some of the moves because I couldn't do them but it was really good and it burnt 102 calories. Um, I feel like it's like loosened up the bottom half of me so I, I will be doing that one again and it was just the right amount of time really well it said 20 minutes but it took 16 because they kept giving you minute breaks in between but i was like no i don't i don't need the breaks i just want to get it done <laughs> so yeah i did that this morning done a bit of put the washing on and stuff um and now i'm going to make some tomato soup so i've got a recipe here oh this is the recipe I'm going to use, but this, I'm using my soup maker. I'll show you that in a minute. This recipe asks for you to put it all in the oven and stuff, but I don't need to do that because I'm making um, it in the, the, soup, the soup, soup maker. But the ingredients are eight tomatoes. Well, I've got six, that'll be fine. Uh, thyme, chili flakes, dried oregano, olive oil, sugar butter onion carrot celery garlic 
tomato puree, chopped tomatoes, vegetable stock, and then you can uh, stir in creme fraiche if you want when before you serve it, but I won't bother with that. And then they make these little cheesy crouton things, which is just like sliced, looks like French bread, doesn't it? With some grated cheese and then you just toast it. So it sounds delicious. I've not eaten anything today. <laughs> So um, that's what I might be having for lunch. Right, let's get my soup maker out and I'll show you. Right, okay, this is my soup maker. It's just like a giant kettle. It's by Morphe Richards. If you want to find it, will be on Amazon. I can always list it if you want it. It's got like the, the blade in there and it's got a level. Um, I don't know if you can see that where the maximum you can fill it to. And obviously plug. So I'm going to, uh, what I'm going to do first actually, sorry you can't see me, it's because the camera's laughed <laughs> um, What I'm going to do first, ow that really hurts, is put the tomatoes in some hot water to take the skins off because skins on things don't agree with my stomach. So I'm going to do that first and then I'm going to add it all. I might have to do this in two lots I'm thinking because that isn't a very high level, you know? So anyway, let's do the first step and get going. tomatoes hence didn't work I don't think my boiling water is boiling enough so anyway left that and just chopped them and threw them in but now I've got too much in there I don't think I'm gonna add the chopped tomatoes because I think there's enough tomatoes in there to be honest I've got the stock as well to add so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tip it all out into a bowl mix it all round and then do half at a time that's what I'm going to do. Um, let's try that. Right, so I've done that. I've put half of this into here and then I selected smooth because I don't like chunky soup but you can do drinks and blending in here as well so that will go off now until it's finished and then I'll do this lot I just hope it tastes good I hope I've added everything have I oh my god now I'm worried that I haven't added everything but I've got tomato on my thumb um stick of celery the only thing i haven't i didn't add garlic because i don't really fancy garlic in my soup um and i didn't add the chopped tomatoes so i i think it'll be tomato enough i mean there's a lot of tomatoes in there and there's tomato puree we shall see we shall see a few moments later right are you ready for the big reveal let's have a look Oh, it's very tomato -y, so I haven't got any worries about that. <laughs> oh, oh, it's because it's still on. Right, let's taste this and see if I should do the other lot as well. Actually, I didn't put any salt in it. Maybe I should put salt in it, but it didn't say to. This is going to be very hot. Hot, hot, hot. Let me leave that there in it. Well, it's very watery. I think I might have put too much stock in. I don't know if it needs some... Is 
it needs salt. I don't know. It's nice. It's nice. So I think we'll go with that. I might drain a bit of that liquid off for of this one and um, decant this into some of these tubs I've got like this. This will do me for quite a few lunches. I feel it's going to be a tomato soup lunch this week. <laughs> so all the soup's done. It's made four portions. So that wasn't too bad for four lunches. So I'm letting it cool down before I'll probably put one in the fridge for my lunch tomorrow and then these three in the freezer. Look, my knobs fell off. I tried to glue it once and it's it's come oh it might still stick actually. Let's see if that sticks or not. I used my gorilla glue but it just fell off while it was <laughs> sitting up there anyway I just wanted to show you I've been doing um, what do you call it all the mottos the the forfeits for the oh, Halloween so party so I'm just gonna mute yeah. pause my, my YouTube um, yeah it's taken me a good two hours to come up with all the forfeits for the the past the parcel I mean the ones I've used before I have managed to copy from online. I made a few up myself, but most of them are copied. But these ones are all my own work. <laughs> Let me give you an example. Um, right. Pumpkin, this is on a bit of paper. Pumpkins, which is bats galore. The person opening this is sitting by the door. <laughs> so you have to pass it to that person, you see. Ghosts and ghouls moan through the night. Pass this to the person on your right. It took me so long <laughs> to come up with all the the little rhymes. But anyway, I've got 12 Halloween snap bracelets. You know the ones that you flick on your wrist and they go into snap into shape. And then I've got all this really nice Halloween um, tissue paper. So... I'm going to start wrapping this now, but I am going to my friend Donna's in a bit. I've just got to wait for Mark because he's doing some plumbing around there. So as soon as he's ready, um, we'll head over there. But I thought I could make a start of this while I'm watching YouTube. But I just wanted to tell you how long it took me to do those four things. <laughs> I should really write them down, but... <laughs> oh, well, where's the fun in that, you know? I'm in the Chavmobile. <laughs> So Mark's, um, like I say, doing some plumbing work at Donna's, so I'm tagging along for the ride. I could just about get up here, it's so high. But he's still, let me show you, he's still got the, he got this as a table present last year for Christmas. It's an air freshener with a picture of the girls on it, but it doesn't smell anymore. Anyway, let's go. It's a Good morning. Welcome to Tuesday. It's Tuesday, isn't it? I've actually um, been shaking it up a bit today. Shake it out, shake it out. Um, so towel wash Wednesday is tomorrow, but I've washed some towels today. I've changed it. No, I haven't. I'm it's still towel wash Wednesday. Don't panic. But my towels, because they're not drying properly, because it's not hot outside and therefore hot inside and I haven't got the heating on they get a bit smelly so too much information I know so I've I've washed some towels today but they will still be towel washed Wednesday tomorrow don't you fear because there's other towels to wash anyway I have come today to a little because I've, I've got a free day today I've got a free I've got a free day Claire I've got a free day <laughs> So what am I doing? I'm out. I've come to B&M, Home Bargains and Poundland. It's all in the same complex, so not far from each other, which means good for the walking. Still got me pain in here. It was so, oh, that really hurts. So bad last night. I think I might have to ring the doctor tomorrow and see if she, if she wants to get an x-ray or something for arthritis but it's so painful anyway 
and I've got pain in my elbow today, but that's fibro pain. Someone's car alarm's just gone off. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. <laughs> um, also, while we're on, um, we're not on the subject at all. What I wanted to tell you is, I've started about five convers five sentences in one there. When it comes to November, this is the last week of October. Well, kind of. We've got like, I believe Monday and Tuesday next week. or mon No, Monday next week, haven't we? Because that's Halloween. And then it becomes November. So as soon as November hits, full out Christmas. Full out Christmas. <laughs> you will be pleased to hear. I will be in the Christmas spirit. I have um, a Christmas outro ready. I will be listening to Heart Christmas on the radio. Oh, you better believe it. So, I'll go down to my nail, split. And also, I've made a decision on Vlogmas. Now, all of you were very kind in your replies to my question on Vlogmas. And most of you are like worried about me and how it will affect me if I was to vlog daily. So, it's very sweet of you and my mum and Mark and everyone think the same. So what I've decided to do is try with a three upload a week. So I will film Monday and Tuesday and upload that Wednesday. I will film Wednesday and Thursday and upload that Friday. And then I will film Friday and Saturday and upload that Sunday. So does that make sense? If it doesn't work out, then I will change it. I'm not oppressed to changing things. Um, and let obviously, please let me know if it works out all right, you know, if you're enjoying it. But it'll still be Vlogmas, but it'll just be two days at a time instead of every day, if you see what I mean. Right. Weird man with a clipboard just walked past and then walked back again. Okay, I'm being brave and it's not very busy down this aisle, so let's show you a few things. I've got these carousels. Ooh try me how do you try it i don't know am i gonna wreck it <laughs> it says try me oh there oh jesus I said help now let's stop it again um what else we got santa's don't like nutcrackers as you know oh that's the one we've got but it's all fallen apart because it's so old 30 pounds might have to invest in a new one what else we got oh, look oh my goodness I'm shattered I'm absolutely done it <laughs> but I did have a nice time um there was one couple in B&M that were arguing the whole way around well he was being really nasty to her and really loud and I just felt really sorry for her I was like <sighs> but anyway um yeah, so I did be, I only filmed that little bit and then some people came along and I was like, no. <laughs> so that's all I filmed, but I've done home bargains very quickly, Poundland and B&M. And now I'm going to go home and have my homemade soup. Mark's back from work, unfortunately early for him, because that means he doesn't get paid a full day. Um, so I'm just telling him I'm on my way. And then... I will show you what I bought. Now some of it is Christmas presents. So I know the people will be watching and I can't show you that. But I will show you what I can show you. Okay? Good deal. Oh, that light's not working. It might seem a bit dark when I do my hauls in this cupboard because there's a light above me that's gone out. We'll have to sort that out. Right. 
home now as you can guess I'll show you what I got from which shop which could be interesting um, got some party food from Iceland where's the rest of it where's the rest of it oh, oh, oh everything's smashing I've got two bags of cocktail sausages because they always go down well and some satay sticks chicken satay because Poppy likes them and I've got some peas <laughs> not for the party just in general um, bananas as well because we're out of bananas bananas in pajamas right this was from the pound shop and something's leaked all over it and I don't know what it is look at this plate look at it it's just well it speaks for itself it's dishwasher safe as well washed before first use this is so nice this was two pounds for this um, in the pound shop I know and I also got some more dental stick things they were obviously a pound for me look at this plate Very good. that's good for the thing from pound shop yeah and then I've got another one look mm, good. they're good aren't they so I've got this one I mean I can use these year after year but this one was four, I think. Um, but again, dishwasher safe. And I just love, I love the shape of it. I just love everything about it, really. So um, I shall wash them up and put them in the cupboard ready for Saturday. Now we go on to B&M. There's a lot from B&M that I can't show you, like I said. But these are the Klingon toilet things I use. Um, they're the blue ones, so they make your water blue. I think they're £3.89 for three, which isn't that bad. Um, I also got a flash spray wipe hinged frosted eucalyptus. It's from the Mrs. Hinch range um, for the kitchen or anywhere, really. I've got some more sweeties. These were 89p, just in case I run out of ghosty lollipops for trick-or-treating. Got Marks and Pringles. They're his favourite. Prawn cocktail. Um... Toothpaste for Holly, she ran out. Apples, because we needed them. <laughs> and is that it from there? Yep. And then also from B&M, I got some, some of this to do Christmas presents up with. So this is like twine up the top, which I really like. And also recyclable. And then these are all recyclable as well. So. £2.50 for the set and you get eight metres of twine in each thing so I thought that was quite good and then I got some gift bags I do keep all my gift bags from previous years this one I thought was absolutely beautiful that was a pound a pound because I put all my presents in gift bags because I just find it a lot easier and then I got this one this one was one twenty-five that I thought would look lovely with the the green theme and then this one I thought was really nice look at the fluting at the top that was also £1.25 I always run out of big bags you know so I probably will have to get some more big bags at some stage right how did I have that I folded that up in there <laughs> I just put it all into one to make it easier in there and in there right and then the last thing I've got that I can show you from B&M is this Oh, this is a nice round shelf unit. This was £18 and this is for Poppy's room to put all her duck collection on. You know she collects rubber ducks? And I thought at the moment they're all on her windowsill and we're going to decorate her room soon when she decides what colour she wants it. So when we've decorated it we can put this up with all her ducks on. So I thought that would be lovely. Um, so that was it from B&M. Stay. And then I quickly nipped into Home Bargains. Don't tell Mark. Grab some Christmas pants. Look, it says, mind the baubles. <laughs> so I got him some Christmas pants. Shh. And then I got, they had so much Halloween stuff. I had this Disney plate boot that I, again, I can use year after year. And this was £2.50. £2.50 or £2.99, something like that. And then, the last thing... Oh, I forgot to show you my Lazy Susan as well. Hang on. 
this Lazy Susan was from B&M. So this was five pounds. It's one of the ones that spin round. And I thought this would be great for like a cheese board. So you can spin the cheese off the plate. <laughs> um, yeah, that was it. That's it. So that's all I can show you. Like I say, there's a few Christmas presents I bought as well. But I think I did really well. Now I'm going to have my homemade tomato soup with cheese, crusty bread things, whatever they are. And um, watch some scary 28 Days Haunted. Welcome back, welcome back. <laughs> right, Mark's filming. I'm just going to show you the exercises. A few of you have said that you want me to show you um, that the physio has given me for my hips. Now, this is for my hips and my bursitis and tendonitis condition. So if you want exercises for your hips, then I would go and ask a medical professional. But I'm just showing you because people have asked and these are good strengthening exercises anyway. And if you can't get on the floor, you can get on the bed and do it. So you lay on your back and then you're going to do a bridge like this. And I hold this for 30 seconds, but you could do it as long as you can do it. And then um, go back down and then do another 30 seconds and then go back. I usually only do two rounds because I find three too much. And then once you've done that, you go on to your, your good side, which I haven't got one because this is bad as well, <laughs> but this is the better side. And then you're going to lift this leg up just a little way and hold it there for again 30 seconds. And you can, I can feel that all in here, which is where it needs to strengthen up. So you hold it there again for 30 seconds, then you're going to drop it, then you're going to do it again. So I do two rounds of each. Um, just holding it like that. Um, and then the one sitting down, sit down on a chair or whatever, and you're gonna hunch yourself over, um, like, you know, in a hunched position. And then you're just gonna lift your leg up and flex your foot. And if you feel comfortable with your head dropped, then that's fine. Or for an extra stretch, you can lift your head up. Um, that's like the next one on. And just hold it as long as you can. That one's quite difficult, so, I don't think I'd make 30 seconds on that one. Um, but again, just do that a couple of times. Happy Towel Wash Wednesday. Yes, I did leave some towels to be washed, which I have got to get out and put in the tumble dryer because I've just got in. It's three o'clock. <laughs> I've been out since ew, 20 to 11. I went to my dad's and my stepmum's. Um, because I had to apply for help dad apply for his blue badge because he couldn't do it on his own so but it took so long for those of you that have applied for a blue badge you know how long it takes it takes a long long time to fill out the forms and especially when you're trying to find supporting documents and and stuff and we had a lunch break in between as well but it's done now so that's good and then i went to lisa's who that's just my phone going off is a subscriber and also an avon lady um and she's also the lady that made my flowers before and she's made me a beautiful little present let me show you look at this for christmas isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen it's so adorable and I've got the silver because she saw my my um, lounges like all greys and silvers. So that is going to be out pride of place over Christmas. I absolutely love it and I might even get some fairy lights. You know the little battery ones you can do and pop them in the top and then hide the battery compartment somewhere. But I absolutely love them. She hand makes these flowers. Um, I'll put her details in the description for you in case you're interested in any for Christmas presents but how beautiful is that absolutely stunning so thank you Lisa I didn't expect that at all what else did I get oh I've got to put these in the freezer I've got these salted caramel cones they look lovely I've got some cheese cheese I've got this Wensleydale with cranberries and blueberries and then some brie for the Halloween party the cheese and crackers got some carrots we like these ones 
because I think you can like chop them up into little ones or just use them whole. Um, so that's all I got from Tesco. I just had to get a couple of bits because I do my big shop tomorrow. My under my knee is really hurting now. I really want to sit down with a nice cold drink and watch some more 28 Days Haunted. So happy weird Thursday. I've just been to Audi. Got the shopping in the back. I did quite well today really because I had to get for the Halloween party on Saturday and we've got our friend Sam and Mark coming for dinner tonight so I had to get for that and then obviously the weekly dinners so I was quite pleased with that really. Right, I need to go to B&M because Holly is at home with her uni stuff today and she needs some more notepads so I'll go there and then go back and collapse editing day today my favorite day of the week i love editing i love it i need to turn the car on i am steaming i'm literally roasting oh <laughs> hang on let's whack that air con up Whew, what is it now 17 degrees it's supposed to get up to 22 degrees today in october it's nearly november come on it's nearly Christmas month. It needs to be cold and I am sweating like a pig. Ow. Oh, and I've got to remember that my skin's still sore. <laughs> um, right. Let's go and get this over with. And get back. I haven't eaten anything yet. It's 12 o'clock. That doesn't surprise you, does it? <sighs> so, finished my editing for today. Um, watching the video back... I obviously saw that I didn't show you the finished result of my little house I painted so very sorry about that <laughs> and let's show you now so here we go I absolutely love it I should put a tea light in there and show you but I can't be bothered <laughs> I'm sure you'll see it lit up um, in all its glory over December but can you see that the roof is all glittery so I painted it, I mixed up a brown actually, and I painted it and then I put over the um, glitter paint that I had, gold glitter, because I thought, you know, it's Christmassy, you've got to have a bit of glitter. And then I added the, you can't really see it very well, but I added the, the gold glitter to the windows and then the red and the green house. And I did go on the back as well. So I, I carried it over. I haven't actually sprayed it, but it is still quite sticky. So I may well get my finish. I was just a bit worried because I was putting a tea light in there. I didn't want the whole thing to go. <laughs> so I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to spray it or not. But it's the red that's sticky. The green's fine. And it's been painted since Sunday. So, or Saturday, wasn't it? So it should be dry, but it's still coming off. So I think I might have to spray it. But anyway, I'm quite happy with that. And there's a few other things I wanted to show you. So I had to nip into B&M, like I said, to get Holly some notebooks. And I found this little mini organiser tray for £1.50. Because I've just bought Mark and I a load of new uh, dental floss sticks. And I've got nowhere to put them in the, in the bathroom cupboard. So I thought this is perfect. So I picked that. And then I've also got this sign, Happy Halloween, it was £3, and I'm going to put this on the doorstep in a minute, so that's another thing for the doorstep. And then I saw these on somebody's um, YouTube, I think it was Freya Farrington, Far Farrington, is it Farrington? Oh, I don't know, you know who I mean. But she bought these recently and I absolutely love them it's two for six pounds so three pounds each is a really good um, price for those and they're just woven placemats what I would love to do in an ideal world is have these as placemats for Christmas Day dinner I have about 12 people for Christmas Day dinner <laughs> And that would cost me an absolute fortune. So that's why that's not happening. But in my ideal world, in my head, that's what I'd like them for. But instead, I'm going to put these on my dresser in the lounge and put Christmas bits and pieces on them, probably some candles and things. So I've got those. And then when I went um, to the garden centre with Mum at the weekend, which was at the beginning of this video, I found my um, new journal 
for next year. And this is Emma Bridgewater. So it's a bit pricey because all my other journals have been from uh, the works. have been about three or four pounds. And this one's 11 99 but I loved it. I just loved it. I love the way... So you can put personal details in here. You've got a planner, so I can use that for my YouTube. Um, and then I've got nice spaces to write each daily entry. Because I write my journal every night before I go to bed. And that's a nice gap to write in. Because you don't want it too big, because then you'd be writing forever. But you don't want it too small that you can't write what you want to write in it. And the pictures are lovely, look. True love and the great adventure. I love it. So I'm really pleased with that and I love the cover as well. well that will look nice sitting on my my bedside cabinet. So that's it. That's what I got. Um, I'm going to leave the vlog here. It's another long one so you'll be pleased to hear. <laughs> um, and also before I go you've probably noticed more so in this video than any that my fringe is growing and it's just sort of having a curtain effect or I'm clipping it up and that's because I want it to grow down so I'm fed up with having it coming apart and everything so this is how I'm having it while it's growing down so I still have like that coverage but it would just be growing down if you know what I mean you know what I mean but just thought I'd point that out <laughs> in case you hadn't already noticed um so i hope you've enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and don't forget to be subscribed and hit the little bell to be notified we've got a very busy weekend coming up because saturday is the halloween party in the evening we're all dressing up so it's going to be incredible holly and i've still got to do the pumpkin i think we'll carve that probably um tomorrow and it's all about all the halloween food we're going to be doing um then of the the party game so it's going to be another long vlog next week <laughs> so hope you are all ready and prepared for that and then full on christmas full on christmas i will see you all on wednesday no idea what it is kind of oh it's garden center christmas shop with me because it will be christmas time it's november so come along for that love you all lots have a wonderful weekend and i'll see you wednesday Mwah. bye